In this video, I'll show you how to hook up your PS5 to your monitor. This is a pretty basic computer monitor and they all work the same way. So let's get started. So the first step is to go on the back of your PS5 and locate the HDMI port. It's this one right over here. Take your HDMI cable. This is the cable that came with my PS5. It's pretty good, okay? So take one end, no matter which one, plug it over here in the HDMI port of the PS5. And the other end, we need to plug it in the back of your monitor. If we tilt the monitor this way, we're gonna have access to all the ports. Here, the first one, let me just remove this. This is the power port of your monitor and obviously your monitor will need power. We have a display port. DP, this is not the one we want. And over here we have an HDMI port. This is where we need to connect the PS5 cable. So I'll go ahead and plug it. If you have two HDMIs on your monitor, which is possible, connect to one of them. Honestly, it's not important which one you pick. So I have connected here. I'll put back the power cable. Now it's time to power on your PS5. Okay, I simply keep press the PS button. And now power on your monitor. Depending on which brand you have, the buttons may be on the bottom or on the back of the monitor. In my case, it was already powered on. If you don't see any image, you may need to select which port you want the display to take the image from. Because maybe it's on HDMI 1, well, you have plugged it in HDMI 2. This is done using the buttons behind your monitor. Again, it depends on which brand you have, but usually you have a button called source or something similar, or in the menu sometimes you, you can locate this feature. And you need to select the port where you have connected your HDMI cable. We're not done yet. We can change a few settings so it looks even better. So take your controller. Now let's log in into our account here. And you may get this screen. Let me focus on this. It will ask you to adjust the display area. And now with these buttons, you see, I'm able to adjust it so it takes the most of the display. Right now, you see, it has black bars. And by pressing the up button here, I'm able to adjust it so it fits perfectly. Using these two buttons, up and down, press OK. Now go on the settings uh, on the top right corner. Select screen and video. Video output. And here we can change a few things. Current video output signal, if you click here, it will simply tell you the information about uh, the screen. So make sure this is okay with you. Over here, I have a full HD display, 60 Hertz, everything makes sense. Let me go back. If you go down, you'll have resolution where you can change the resolution. So in case, let's say you have a 4K monitor, but it was 1080p, well, you'll be able to select it here. But over here, mine is grayed out because this is not a 4K monitor. I can select 1080p or keep it automatic since it's both the same thing. And then you have other options. If your monitor is capable of 120 Hertz refresh rate, by default, it's automatic. So the PS5 will do it if it's possible. If it's not, well, like here, my display is not 120 Hertz. It's just 100 Hertz. Well, nothing will happen. And this is about it. You're now ready to use your computer monitor with your PS5. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.